$10,200 of unemployment benefits that will not be taxed and what you need to do going forward. That's the focus of this video, so let's get right into it. But hey everybody, welcome. Thanks so much for checking me out. If you happen to be new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt. I hope you can consider hitting the subscribe button right down below the video as I am back every single day as your daily advocate, helping you get as much money as you possibly can during this time and in this situation, keep as much of that money as you possibly can. Once again, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it and I'm committed to helping you through this time. So as part of the latest stimulus package that was just passed, one of the amendments that it picked up in the Senate was to exclude the first $10,200 of unemployment benefits from 2020 to be taxable from the federal government. So let's talk about that a little bit further and then we can discuss what you need to do going forward so that you're not taxed on this and if you happen to already file your 2020 tax return, what you need to do then. So there's a lot to talk about, so let's discuss it further. So you already know the 10,200, they are not making this taxable in 2020. This is not for 2021, but rather in 2020. So if you received unemployment benefits last year, as about 40 plus million Americans did, this goes for you as well. So it's for the first $10,200. Anything over that, you'd have to pay taxes on. However, anything under that, let's say you earned $5,000 in unemployment benefits. Well, then it would still be eligible for this exclusion up to 10,200. Now, there are some earnings in uh, limits on this. This is only relevant for those individuals who earn under $150,000. If you earn over 150 grand, unfortunately, you're not eligible for this. It's You're not included in this. It's up to that 150. So there's that cutoff. So unfortunately, if you're earning over that, you would still need to pay taxes on your first 10,200, just like all of your other income. So that's not all that cool. Now here's the deal. This is also just for the federal government. If you're in one of the states that has state income taxes, you would still need to pay state income taxes on that 10,200. However, side note, there are actually quite a few states right now who are excluding any uh, unemployment benefits from paying taxes on them on the state level. And there's a handful of states right now that are actually working on this so that you don't need to pay taxes on that first 10,200 once again there on the state level, which would be huge. Again, this is all very new as of just a couple days ago and these, still, and these states are still working on it. So I'll keep you posted on the states. However, as of right now, there's only a handful of states that are not requiring you to pay state income taxes on that 10,200. So let's talk about what you need to do going forward. And if you already filed your 2020 tax return, what you need to do. So let's do one thing at a time here. If you did not file your 2020 tax return yet, what would be the best thing to do? Well, I just have to say, full disclaimer, I cannot give you tax advice or accounting advice. I am not your CPA, but rather I can give you general information. And that is, since here we are in mid-March when I'm recording this video, and we have about a month to go until taxes are officially due, however, they are, they're talking about extending them out, uh, the, the deadline for taxes um, for the IRS, However, it's still you know mid-April as of right now, so we got a month, about a month to go. The best thing you might want to do, consider waiting filing your 2020 tax return simply because if you file it now and you pay taxes on that 10,200, well, that brings us to the next question, which is what do you need to do if you already filed? We'll get to that here in just a second. So the best thing you might want to consider Hold off filing for about another three weeks or so, as close to that April 15th deadline as you possibly can. Of course, you definitely want to get it in before then if they don't push out the deadline just because you don't want to incur any penalties. However, you might want to wait simply because now that this package was just passed a short time ago, the IRS is still figuring out what are we going to do? We got a quick scramble and figure out what to do here to amend everything and make sure that everybody is not paying taxes on that first 10200 So even accountants, everybody, a lot of people are really backed up right now, kind of waiting for guidance out of the IRS on what to do. Hey, what do we got to do? We don't really know yet. We're waiting for the IRS to give us guidance. So that might be the best thing you want to do. Hold off for just a couple weeks. Again, it's totally up to, do, to you. Do whatever works best for you and your strategy. But 
you know, you might want to consider if you have a bunch of uh, unemployment uh, unemployment benefits from last year, 2020, you may just want to hold out. All right, so if you already filed your 2020 tax return, what do you need to do now, right? Dang, this isn't fun. You already filed, you pay taxes on the first 10,200, and now you hear about this. Well, again, best thing you can do is just wait. The reason I say wait is because we're still waiting on that guidance out of the IRS. According to some people, and according to the information that I'm finding, some people are calling on the IRS to just automatically process um, these returns that have this 10,200 and automatically issue the refunds for the people who are eligible to receive them. So we don't know what's actually gonna happen out of this yet. So the best thing we can do is just hold tight and not do anything yet. Uh, I would just say you probably do not want to file an amendment yet simply because if the IRS is automatically going to file and uh, process your refund that you would have coming due because you paid taxes on that 10200 you definitely don't want to file an amendment yet because then it would just jack up the whole process, right? It's just going to slow things down. Not only that, the IRS is all backed up from last year. There's a lot going on right now, plus they're trying to distribute all of these stimulus checks. Man, it's a mess. They've got to... I mean, in many people's opinions, they should really push out the deadline for tax filing like they did last year because things are really a mess right now. However, if the IRS gives guidance on saying, yep, if you filed your 2020 tax return and you want your refund for the first 10,200 of taxes that you paid, well, I shouldn't say 10,200 of taxes, for the taxes that you paid on the first 10,200, you may need to file an amendment. We don't know what the guidance is going to be quite yet. However, if their guidance says you need to file an amendment, well, unfortunately for millions of people who have already filed their tax return, then at that point, we could probably say, yeah, you probably, unfortunately, would need to file an amendment. Once again, probably backing up the IRS even more than they already are. So, unfortunately, if that's the case, we would probably need to wait even longer to get that refund that everybody needs so badly right now. And of course, whether you need it or you don't, the money's much better in your possession than it is in the IRS possession, right? Everybody wants the money in your pocket, not the coffers of the IRS. So anyway, as of right now, the best strategy to do is wait. Whether you already filed, wait. If you haven't filed yet, you may want to consider waiting a little bit longer here until we get that official guidance out of the IRS on this $10,200. This is a big one. This is a big one. Let me give you a quick example. If you're in a 10% uh, tax bracket, this $10,200 of unemployment benefits that wouldn't be taxable, that'd be over $1,000 that you'd be getting back. Let me give you another example. If you're in a 25% tax bracket and you paid taxes on this first 10,200, guess what? That's over 2,500 bucks of, of a refund that you would be getting back. $2,500, that's basically close to two stimulus checks that you'd be getting back once again as a refund that you already paid in on this. It's a lot of money, right? So we gotta make sure that we know all of the information we strategize so that we don't pay taxes on any money that we don't have to. Of course, we have to pay what we legally are obligated to pay. But if we're not supposed to pay taxes on something, we definitely don't want to pay taxes on it, right? We want that money in our pockets. <laughs> yeah, definitely, right? But you got to pay what's, what you have come and do. Anyway, so I will keep you posted on all this, but I know a lot of people are searching this topic right now because everybody wants to know, how can I get my money back? So I will keep you posted, which is why you definitely want to make sure you are subscribed by hitting the button right down below the video. Feel free to share this video with your friends, family, social media, if you'd like. There's a lot of people in this situation and we wanna make sure that everybody gets this money that they have coming back to them or that they simply just don't need to pay taxes on. Unfortunately, there's gonna be a lot of people who typically, or that, that unfortunately just don't take the steps to follow through with this and then they'll pay taxes and then maybe just never get that money back. So, which is why I wanna reach as many people as we can so that you can get that money back or essentially just don't pay it in the first place. So anyway, thanks so much for watching this. I will keep you posted here over the next couple of weeks as we get that guidance out of the IRS. Whenever that happens, I'm not really sure but I will keep you posted no matter what. Thanks again for your support. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you again soon. Thanks everybody.